This is Bumper to Bumper TV. If it's spring, then it must be time for the annual Family Car Challenge. What is the challenge, you ask? It's the chance for members of the Greater Atlanta Automotive Media Association, or GAMA for short. That's when they get to literally compare apples to apples in terms of family-friendly vehicles. So, with an early start, we joined other auto writers to compare and contrast. But first, the legal stuff had to be addressed. Um, if you have not signed Gago Logistics, if you're going to drive, you need to sign the driver's log sheet and have your driver's license. And there's one more disclaimer that you have to si sign for Hyundai that says that you're responsible for everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that that's handled, it's time to get behind the wheel. We chose to start in the value segment where there are a lot of entries and in one instance a product manager to explain the features to us, down to the details of the seats. It's Ambassador Blue Leather. It's only available on the 200S models to give it a little extra style to stand out from the other models of the Chrysler 200. It's really a nice interior. Uh, the front seats are heated and ventilated. We also considered driver functionality and of course cargo space for the reality of daily use. So with that in mind, here are just a few of the things we tested. Nissan Murano, Nissan Pathfinder, Nissan Rogue, Ford F-150, then throw in the Lexus NX, a Jeep Grand Cherokee as green car features, a Porsche Macan in the luxury segment, and a Mazda 6 in the tech category. One of the things we have to do is try to drive as many of these vehicles as possible. So imagine what it's like trying to drive 19, 20 cars in the space of five and a half, six hours to get a feel for handling, safety, fuel economy, family functionality, and technology. After the driving, keeping score is the next step. And this year, thankfully, that process was automated thanks to a resourceful Gamma member. Um, just so we can make sure that we have the same number of evaluations as drives, um, you put in, you select your vehicle from a drop down, which vehicle you're driving, and then you just um, mark on a scale of one to 10. For the automakers who participate, what is at stake is more than just taking home a trophy item. It's often bragging rights and occasionally a marketing tool for their product. The winners for 2015 were the Mazda and the value and tech categories. Toyota Sienna for the best three row vehicle. Porsche Macan for the best luxury family offering. Jeep Grand Cherokee Diesel was named the best green vehicle, and the best in show was the Subaru Outback Wagon. Now it's back to taking a close look at these and all of the other cars that come our way for evaluation. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.